Okay, so it appears we are live now. So welcome everybody. Um, we'll get started here in just a minute or so, uh, give people a chance to join into our live stream. So welcome to our Facebook Live uh, event. We are excited about this. We hope uh, this will be everything you guys want and more. Um, so we'll get started here in just a minute. But a first couple little house cleaning things. Uh, one thing we wanna talk about is if you have any questions that you would like to be answered, uh, please post them in the comments section below and we will answer a few after we get done with our presentation. Uh, we'll try to make this short and sweet and quick, um, but we'll answer a few of your questions to be able to uh, help give you some insight of things I may have missed or forgotten to, or if you need clarification on anything I've talked about today. Um, make sure to put that in the comments section, and if for any reason we don't get to the chance to uh, address your uh, questions live, uh, we will respond to you in the comments uh, after this is over. So. Uh, we have a little presentation planned for you guys, and hopefully um, everything will go well. Uh, so welcome to our Facebook Live. Uh, one other little note, I have a piece of paper here as my notes. This is to keep me on topic because this is an exciting thing, and I don't want to get too far off into all kinds of different strange stuff. So I do want to make sure uh, I stay on topic. So with that... Um, I guess we're a few minutes into it, and so I guess we'll go ahead and get started. So, guys, welcome to our Facebook Live event. Uh, want to be? Uh, we're really excited to share this with you. We have a brand new product we want to announce and show off. Um, some of you guys may have heard the word going around a little bit. We had a magazine ad uh, that uh, shipped to subscribers on the uh, 22nd of July. So if you haven't seen that yet, there will be an ad in your magazines. Um, but anyway, without any further ado, let's introduce. So I have a couple of locomotives here in front of me, and I have a DCC system, but the good news is we're not necessarily going to need this. Why, you ask? Well, introducing Blue Nami. This is a Bluetooth, DCC, and DC-controlled decoder. So yes, your favorite Tsunami 2 has now gone wireless using Bluetooth control through your iOS and Apple devices. So first off, what is BlueNami? Well, BlueNami is a merge of the word Bluetooth and Tsunami. So that way you kind of have it separated from the traditional Tsunami 2 product line. So that way it's easy to find. Now what we've done is we've taken our great Tsunami 2 product and we've added the ability to control this wirelessly through your device to now give you full access to control your locomotive without a DCC system. So for all of you guys out there that are uh, uh, running analog systems, you're running DC power, you don't want to go out and buy a DCC system, well the good news is now you have all of those features built into the decoder that now all you need is a power source and so that way you can control the sounds no longer relying on auto sounds triggered based on voltage changes on the layout itself. So we're really excited about this. Now, the app that we will be using with our Blue Nami is actually produced by Blue Rail. So this is the Blue Rail app that has now been renamed the Blue Nami app that will give you full access and control of your locomotive, all functions, including all the different lights, all the sounds that are in there that you've known from the Tsunami 2. So how does it work? Well, I'm going to go ahead and open up this device over here. Now, off to my uh, right here, I have an iPad. And on the home screen here, you can see that I have two locomotives dialed up. Uh, one is for the uh, steam locomotive, number 1460. The other one I have yet to rename, but it's this Mopac SD40. Now, I can simply select a locomotive on there, and we're going to go to the control page. So you can see a standard controls here. So if you can see here, we can go ahead and increase the speed. Our locomotive starts to move, but you're not hearing any sound yet. It's because in order for this to work, I have it muted. So we'll pull out this little thing here and you can see that I have functions one through 14 laid out in front. And you can see that I have the mute on. So when I hit the mute button, you can now see that that instantly changes. I can ring the bell. I can blow the whistle and I have full control of my decoder from here including all of these sound effects. I can do a blow down and if I want to get into any of the higher functions I can then hit this fu function 15 through 28 
and you can see all the functions that are active while the locomotive is moving. So we can do a wheel slip. You can hear those wheels sounds of it breaking loose from the traction um, and so forth. So I can just switch back and forth in the app. And again, I have full control. Now we'll bring the locomotive to a stop. And then now with our SD40, you can see this little arrow. I can control the SD40 now. So we'll go ahead and unmute this guy. So you can control multiple trains with the app just by swiping the arrows side by side. So we'll go ahead and remute the diesel locomotive for the moment. And we'll go back to controlling the steam engine. Now, one of the really exciting parts of this, yes, you can control the decoder wirelessly, but there's more. We can actually go in and make all the setups, everything you need to do. So here's this little gear down here on the bottom. We're gonna push this. Now, you can see sound settings. I'm gonna go to main sounds. Now, I can select the exhaust chuff. I can select the different whistles. So if I come here and I see my full roster list right here, that I can choose from. So let's check this. Uh, let's check a LNN freight three chime. Well, if I want to hear it, I can instantly hear the change. But now, if I want to change it to something different, let's do this Nathan step top five chime. I can instantly hear those changes. So that way, I can go through the roster and quickly decide which whistles and in which case, which bells I want to play. So I can press the bell button, you can hear it. Now I can come up here, change it to a medium brass. You can instantly hear those changes and all of this is being done wirelessly through the Bluetooth connection to the decoder directly. Now again, I can go through even here, I can change the whistle volume. So instantly make these changes. So I can decide really quickly using these visual interfaces to decide how loud or how I want everything. Now here's the advantage. Master volume, you can take a listen. This is instantly changing it as I'm running through here. Let's do this. Let's run the locomotive. We'll turn on our bell. Now if I want to go through and set my master volume and decide how loud I want this, you can instantly hear how it's changing in volume as I'm moving the slider bar across on the screen. Now I can go through and change other things. Let's turn the bell off here. We'll bring this guy to a stop. Now one of the really cool features that we have built into the Tsunami 2 is what's called a reactive dynamic digital exhaust. And this is where our decoder will read the load on the motor and adjust the sounds accordingly. Well, in the Blue Nami, we also have that feature translated over. Everything the Tsunami 2 can do, the Blue Nami can do as well. But here's where this really shines. When it comes to the setting up the dynamic exhaust, there's actually a calibration process that we go through in order to do this. Well, now we hit through the app, we have a single button. We can go ahead and actually do the calibration. This is gonna automatically go through. You're gonna see our locomotive start moving automatically as it's going through and doing the calibration process. And once it's done the process, now the calibration is done. The decoder now has the dynamic exhaust calibration set up and this is how easy it is. So when you go through, it'll actually change your momentum settings to zero so that we know the decoder is running at the commanded speed. And then when you're done, it will set them back to wherever it was you had them listed. So this is where it's really exciting. Now when it comes to, same thing with the diesel decoder here. So let's go ahead and mute the steam locomotive for a second. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and cross over to our diesel engine. Now you can see all these changes happen in real time. So again, we can go over here to sound settings. We're gonna do main sounds. And you're gonna see that we have that EMD 645 turbo. Well, if I wanna pick a different one, we can just come over here and pick off the list and you're gonna instantly hear that change. Now, if I wanna change the volume of that while this is going, you can hear that I can instantly make these changes to adjust the volume levels. 
So all of this is set up in the app and all of it's done wirelessly. So we don't have to have CVs. Now, one of the questions is, is what if I'm using this with a DCC layout? Well, this is fully DCC compatible. So everything you're seeing that I'm doing here in the app, you can do using your DCC system, whatever brand you have, as long as you're using DCC. Now, where this is really gonna shine, let's go ahead and go back. We'll mute this guy for a moment. Now, where this is really gonna shine is really Blue Nami, all it needs is a power source. Doesn't matter what the power source is, whether it's battery power, wire uh, track power or standard dc layouts you get the full advantage of the tsunami 2 no matter what your track power system is or your decoder power so that means for those of you guys who like to go dead rail now this is becoming a lot more popular nowadays you can actually install a battery power the decoder and the decoder will use the battery and then use our wireless app to control the locomotive just using battery power so this is really exciting. And especially right now, smaller scales, our Blue 2200, which is our first initial release into the Blue Nami, is about the same size as the Blue, as the uh, Tsunami 2200. It's about a little bit longer, uh, just about an eighth of an inch or a quarter inch longer in length. Um, I don't remember the exact spec right off the top of my head. My apologies, I didn't write it down. Um, but it is a little bit longer, but width and thickness are exactly the same. So it will fit pretty much where every, every one of your original 2200s would fit. Now you can also connect this to a battery inside the tender. You can fit it inside your HO diesels. You can do this for S scale, other scales and so forth are coming. What's really exciting is this is our first introduction into it. So there are more, more board formats coming. We just don't have them all ready for this product announcement today. So stay tuned. Uh, we will have more announcements, but also keep in mind, this doesn't limit us just to model railroads. If any of you guys out there are doing Lego and have battery power or track power for Lego, this is a great opportunity for you because you can install this into your Lego trains and you'll have full control of your decoder, again, using the wireless app. Now, what we're really excited about at this, this is exciting, it's game changing, it really adds a lot of it, uh, extra functionality to the decoders. Uh, our Tsunami 2 has really been received well by customers. People really like it and we think this is the next uh, step in the evolution. Wireless control, a lot more people are asking about wireless and things like that. So we're really excited about that. So first off, I wanna say uh, these are gonna be available only at retailers for a short period of time. So be sure to check with your retailers. Uh, MSRP is gonna run $169.95. Um, and so check with your retailers, see what kind of discounts you can get through them and uh, be sure to support those guys because they're, they're going to be the only ones that will have it up front. So I think I've covered pretty much everything on my list. Um, oh, there is one thing. So let's open this app again here really quickly. So we're going to go back to the settings page. And when we go to, uh, if you want to go through direct CVs, you can connect directly to the CVs. You can see all the different CVs here. So when you open it up, you can actually scroll through, program the CVs directly. So if you have a setting that you normally like, you can go through and set the CVs up. You can also read them on your standard DCC system. Just remember that once you take control of the decoder through the app on your device, you no longer can talk to it through the DCC system until you cycle power and then reattach power. Because once the, once the uh, control from the app is over there, the decoder is now ignoring the DCC command. So you don't have two possible ways to control it. So when you're doing this, you set up the CVs, you do this if you take it without, like for example, on the power cab, I can take my main line, turn it into a programming track. The decoder will ignore those commands because it's being connected here. But as we scroll through here, as I mentioned, you can see all the CVs. So if you have CV settings on your Tsunami 2 that you like, they're going to translate over just perfectly here. Now, one thing that is exciting about this is this button up here, read all CVs. You can actually go through and we're going to go ahead and do this for this SD40. We're going to push the button and you can see it go through the process. And it's done that fast. It read all CVs and you'll be able to see the CVs change in your CV list. So whatever changes you've made either externally through a DCC system or through your settings and so forth, you'll be able to uh, have the CVs read. I can also go through and change each CV individually. So like say for example, if I wanted to change CV29, I can go in, type in a new value, hit done, and it instantly writes it down. So. 
We have all the light settings, so if we want to change the lights, again, we can go through here, headlight settings, we can pick the type of lighting effect. So we can turn this into a uh, gyro light instantly, and then as soon as you make that change, that light effect changes. So again, we have all of our settings here. Uh, let's see here, let's close that. This is all of our light settings here. We can go back to speed settings, so we can build a 28 point speed table, just like this and then we can write it and as we go through it makes all these changes and we can go through and even set up uh where to go where to go i think this is under sound settings now bear in mind i'm still learning where some of these things are in here so here's where we can turn on the auto start for example engine auto start is disabled we can enable it if we want and that means as soon as track power is applied, the decoder will sound up. This is just set it, just a simple setting there. And unbeknownst to you, it's actually changing CVs, but it's doing it through this graphic interface. Um, we can go through here and we can set up all these different volumes for all the other sounds and things like that. Independent brake apply. Here's where you would set your braking rates. And then we can make the train stop faster or we can take longer to stop the train. And this is where all your settings are gonna be. So we can go through and just make these adjustments live on the fly. So if you run your train and you decide the braking rate is too long, you can go in and just simply change it while you're there. You don't have to go find a DCC system. You don't have to worry about a layout owner or somebody saying, we don't change CVs on the main line because now you can do this all through the app and it is talking to that one individual locomotive. So, um, Multi-train classes. Oh, yes. Sorry, guys, this is live and I'm not, I'm not looking at my list apparently. So one of the things we want to talk about here is multi-train. Um, as we mentioned, I can go back here to the main thing, uh, the main page, and we can select. I can run either of these locomotives. So like, for example, if I go into here, bear with me a second. This is the first initial startup. We'll go ahead and unmute. I can run the locomotive independent, and as you can see right now, I don't have a whole lot of space. Change directions, we can have it run. Now, I ran out of rollers, so the diesel engine is not on rollers, but if I wanted to consist, consisting is easy. I simply hit the chain button down here. I'm gonna build consist A, and then over here on my steam engine, I'm gonna link this to consist A. Now I can make this locomotive the lead. So we're gonna go ahead and push that button to make it the lead locomotive. Now the 282 is our lead locomotive. Whoop, where are we at here? Uh, let me go back, hold on. All right. So we can decide which way this loco faces over here, facing forward. And anyway, you can see how quick and easy this is to consist. We can change it over here and we can make this guy the lead. And you can see that the control switches over. Now he's the lead locomotive and he's got all of his controls. I'm not sure why the steam engine wasn't blowing the whistle, but if we just simply make it the lead, now it should have full control, but for some reason it's not responding. Um, but this does work, I promise you. We've done this with, we've got another locomotive that we actually are updating the uh, firmware and we've run two diesels back and forth. So, and then when we want to take it out of the consist, we simply turn off the link. Now we have our independent control again. We can run this locomotive independently and now we can go forward or we can move this guy here forward. I'm wondering if it's a volume setting. Oh, I know why. I still have him muted. Whoops, let's go to... That's what's wrong. Hey, look. Sound just came back. So now we're going to link these up again. A... Uh, we're going to make the lead of the steam locomotive. Again, folks, this is live. So my apologies on pushing the wrong button here. But now, you can see that we have full control. We're going to start moving the locomotive forward here. 
Rear loco facing forward. We want this to go. Here we go. Now they're both going in the same direction. We have our whistle. We have our bell. Now when I want to make the diesel unit the lead, we'd simply push the button. We have full control of that. We're moving in reverse. And you'll notice that our locomotives now run together in the same direction. So really excited about all of this, guys. And then you can link multiple locomotives together. You have four consists that you can build. Um, and so you just simply click and link. And when you want to take it out, you just simply take it out. Now the locomotive is back and independent again. So I believe this now has covered everything I have on my list. So guys, I appreciate your patience and uh, hope you're excited about this. Um, again, we'll read some questions here in the comments section, but remember these are available only at retailers initially. So be sure to check with your local store, get these on order and they will be uh, shipping very, very soon. Uh, for those of you coming to the NMRA show next week, uh, make sure to come by and see us and we'll give you a full demonstration, even let you play with some of the locos that we've got set up. So we are excited about this. We hope you are too. This really is a game changer that we're really excited about. And so with that, I'll open the floor to some questions and then we'll uh, look at wrapping up. And like I said, if we don't get to your question, we'll answer them in the comments section below. Don't feel bad. We will get to them all, but when the essence of time, we want to go ahead and, and uh, just answer a few. So we have our first question. So the question is to clarify Android versus Apple. So Apple uh, products use the what's called the iOS operating system and it works on either an iPhone or an iPad and you can actually dial it up using the App Store there. Now if you're using like a Samsung Galaxy or a Motorola phone or any of the other brands out there, they use what's called the Android operating system. It's a little bit different and so at this moment in time, the app is only available for the iOS devices. Now, as I mentioned, the app is available and made by Blue Rail products, and so they are responsible for the app. Uh, they will be answering any app questions, but right now it is only available through the iOS, which is Apple devices. So, with that, do we have uh, another question? Um, what? They're moving. <laughs> ah, questions are coming in fast, there so guys, thank you very much. Okay, so the question is uh, regarding Decoder and the app. The app is a free download off the Apple I, I Store, iTunes Store, or whatever, the App Store, I think it's called. Um, you can download the app now. The Decoder retail price is $169.95, uh, and that's going to give you the Decoder. It's going to give you the Bluetooth connection, and your app will just simply use the Bluetooth connection in your, in your device, whether it be, like I mentioned, the iPhone or an iPad and you'll be able to connect wirelessly to the decoder directly using this home screen and then you can disconnect so like say for example if you're at a layout with multiple locomotives and you want to run let's say the the steam engine and your buddy wants to run the diesel engine you can just disconnect or make sure you don't connect to his but once they're connected you cannot pick it up on another device so you have to release it off of one device to be able to connect it to another. But the app is uh, only iOS. It's available through the App Store, and it is a free download, um, and that's built into the cost of the decoder. A lot of questions about scale, so you want to talk about the Bluetooth. Okay. So the question is about scale. What scales are these for? Um, let me do this really quickly here. We're going to mute this guy off, and then we'll shut the other one down for a second. So when it comes to the 2200, now our TSU 2200 is just like our blue 2200 when it comes to the specs. So it is capable of handling up to two amps of stall current. It does have a two watt amplifier. It does have six lighting outputs and it's fairly small package. It will fit inside a narrow hood diesel. Um, obviously most steam tenders it will fit. Um, I don't remember the exact dimensions off the top of my head. My brain is going blank. That's what happens when we go live. Um, but it's about five eighths of an inch wide by about an inch or so long, about an inch and a quarter long, um, and it's only about a quarter of an inch thick. Um, so it's fairly small. Sim like I said, it's virtually identical to the TSU 2200. It's only about a quarter inch long. But anything that handles a up to a two amp stall current. So like, say, for example, if you're modeling an S scale and you have a motor that stalls at one and a quarter amps, 
Great. If you're modeling in O scale and you have a model that stall current equals uh, 1.7 amps, you're good to go. If you have a model that stalls at 2.5 amps, not yet. Hold the brakes. We'll be getting to that. Uh, but right now, the 2200 is our only available format at this moment in time as the moment we're going live. But as I mentioned, we do have other formats in the works coming to you. So if you do have other scales and you are interested in this product, just hang tight. Make sure you're subscribed to our newsletter so when we have new formats announced very soon, you'll be able to be the first informed. Those also will be going to the retailers and make sure that you can get them. So if you're modeling, like say for example, in a just randomly pick out large scale, uh, a garden railway or something like that, um, and you like battery power, you're gonna wanna be subscribed to our newsletter. Um, that's all I can say at this moment in time, but you will want to be subscribed. Now, one of the common questions I know I've been asked with some of our retailers, and I'm sure are getting in the comments section, is range. What is range? Now, I know a lot of you guys are used to uh, a wireless headphone set that you can put on and connect, and usually about 30 foot or so, you start dropping out. Well, this is using a different Bluetooth protocol, and we have tested it with an extent over 100 foot, and it's actually still connected over that through the offices and so forth. So our building, we were on one corner of the building with the app, and the other, and the locomotive was on the other side, other corner of the building, uh, with the train running, and we still had full control of it. So. The range is great. It's, it has pretty good range through walls and things like that. So if you have a large layout, don't fret. You will still be able to control the locomotive. Now, again, 100 foot range. So if you have a massive layout that you're talking 200 foot range, you're probably gonna wanna be a little closer than 200 feet, but you do have an amazing range on this as far as the wireless control. So you don't have to worry about dropping it out after it only travels a few feet. Dave Reeks has also talked about that in the comments and put some links. Okay. So Dave, who is the uh, Blue Rail proprietor, he's uh, been tuning in and he's been answering some of the questions down below in the comments section as far as the app is concerned, range, things like that. So we are happy and excited to be partnered with those guys at Blue Rail and uh, we're really excited to bring this product to you. So uh, anything else that we have? Where are we at in time? We're right at the 30 minute mark. That covers the broad range. Okay. Uh, let everybody know that we'll be addressing. Yep. Okay. So guys, we're right at the 30 minute mark, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, if you guys have questions that have not been directly addressed by anything we've discussed here today, please again, mention them in the comments and we will get those uh, to those as quick as we can. We will respond. If you have any further questions, feel free to email us at sales at soundtracks.com and we'll be getting onto those questions right away as well. Again, we're really excited about it. Uh, be sure to check with your retailers and uh, order these great products. So with that, I will, um, oh, one last thing I did wanna mention about the 2200 is it does still have the standard nine pin JST harness, just like our 2200 does in the Tsunami 2 product line that you guys have seen for many years. So the blue 2200 uses the same harness. So if you have a 2200 or even dating back to an original Tsunami that you would like to upgrade, you can simply unplug the harness, plug this in, and that's all the more you have to do to the install. And then you have access to all those cool features. So with that guys, thank you very much for tuning in. We hope this is exciting. Feel free to contact us. We're here to answer questions and we're really excited about getting this out. And hopefully we'll see you guys next week at the train show. With that, we'll say goodbye for the day.